Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today is going to be part four of my Las Vegas um, haul. This will be the final part of the Las Vegas haul. And I saved the best for last because I have some Louis Vuitton items. Um, did not buy a handbag. Um, I'd rather get a handbag on the pre-loved market and save some money. But I did get some accessories and um, without further ado let's get started so let me start with um, this little guy right here and if you're familiar with um, Louis Vuitton hang on just a second <laughs> my microphone is magnetized to my watch there anyway if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton you can probably guess what's in this size of a box but anyway let me just undo the little ribbons here and this one I purchased at the, um, the Louis Vuitton in the Palazzo. And I normally like to get items at the Louis Vuitton at the Fashion Show Mall, but they did not have this when I was there. And I happened to see it at the one at the Palazzo and so I just had to get it and it is a bandeau and look at those colors for fall and winter this red with the brown or the cream color oh, just loved it loved it loved it um, I'm not for sure which one this is called but I'll put I'll put it all down here on the screen but it does have um, what does it have it just has different pictures of different things that would have to be to do with Louis Vuitton I mean there's like some, um, some rivets here um, a Noe luggage tag um, a trunk I just really liked it. I really liked the colors. I really, I think this is going to look absolutely stunning on my Demia Abin um, Neverfull. So I really did like that. So I got that. Okay, the next items, um, I did purchase all these at the Fashion Show Mall. Um, if you're ever in Vegas and you want to go to Louis Vuitton, go to the one at the Fashion Show Mall because out of all the ones that I've been to, I have gotten the best service there and have been treated with the utmost respect and not treated like I didn't belong in the store. So I highly recommend them. And so here's this item here. And I had these items uh, shipped to me so that I didn't have to pay taxes. Everything was shipped, and on this one, I got another bandeau, and just fell in love with this one because it has my favorite, one of my favorite um, silhouette of handbags, which is the Noe. I actually have two. I have a monogram, and I have the black Aban, and I just thought in the Epi, not the black Aban, the black Epi. And I just thought this would be so pretty on either one of those, but especially the black epi with the way it has the black and the cream on the reverse side. And of course, you could always wear these as they are intended as a neck scarf or around the hair. But I'm definitely going to be putting those on my handbags. And then let's see, I can't really tell so we'll start with this little box I haven't opened these since I got back from Vegas so let's open this one because um, I'm not for sure what's in here what piece is in here so anyway just kind of opens up there and this is in a dust bag I wish my little um, bandeaus would have been in a dust bag but they're not oh this one I know what this one is by the feel of it so anyway here's the little dust bag I specifically went in looking for this item and I got a jewelry piece this is a bracelet and it is with the monogram uh, material canvas and it has the little um, it looks like a hat bag charm on it. I just thought it was so cute. I tried on several different ones and um, my sales associate, which was also 
the manager, we decided that this one looked the best on my wrist. So that is the one that I went with and it was just so pretty and I just really like it. I was gonna get it on the pre-loved market, but there wasn't a whole lot of savings on the pre-loved market with this item and the ones on the pre-loved market were really um, banged up. So I thought, well, just put the extra money to it and get a brand new one and then I can, I can bang it up myself. So <laughs> anyway, I got that. And the next thing I have, I'm pretty sure by the size of this box, I know what it is. And I have a little bit of a story, backstory on this one, this piece once I show it to you. But anyway, the ribbon and then the box and the dust bag here. And another reason why I had it shipped was I had this piece um, monogrammed, initialed. Anyway, I got a luggage tag and it's this beautiful mustard yellow color. I absolutely love it. And I really think this is probably something that's maybe from the men's line, but um, I had my initials engraved on it or monogrammed on it, hot stamped. And we decided to do the yellow color in that. And I just think it looks so pretty. It's the first time I've seen it since it's been done. And that just turned out really pretty. But the, the issue that I'm having is the fashion show mall, whenever I go in and, and you know pick some other pieces and I, they're like, is there anything else? I'm like, yes, I would like to get a luggage tag. Oh, okay, let me go get what we have and show you and you pick what you want. I've done that two different times. Both times there's been no issue with me asking for a luggage tag. And every time I go into the um, Louis Vuitton at Caesars Palace, I was actually going to make a purchase in there of a card case that they had that I liked and I mean it was not cheap in my opinion for what it was and I was like um, I need to get a luggage tag he's like well that's a replacement piece and you have to have actual a piece that it would go on before you can buy a replacement piece and I'm like well I just purchased one at the fashion show He's like, well, I don't know what their, their policy is, but our policy here is that you have to have a piece that a luggage tag goes on. And I don't. I don't have the, um, the key balls that these came on. So he wouldn't let me purchase one. He wouldn't even try to see if he could order me one or see if they had any in stock. It, he didn't. So I was like, you know, I said, I'm not going to get that, that I was going to purchase. I'll just go back to the fashion show mall and get it there or have them order it for me. So anyway, but anyway, I didn't have any problems getting a luggage tag. Definitely going to be using this as a bag charm. So anyway, there you go. And then the last piece that I have, the last and final piece, but not the least, is another little goodie in this box. And this, I wasn't planning on doing this one, and I looked at it, I tried it on, I really liked it, and I thought, no, I'm going to, I'm getting that other bracelet, I'm not going to get this one. And, but she was so nice, you know, let me get the luggage tag, and the, showed me all the different bandos. At the last minute, I was like, you know, I said, that bracelet that I tried on, I said, I'm going to get that. So, that is what is in this box, and um, it's in a little dust bag like this. And here is the bracelet in the silver tone. It has the LVs all around it. And then the little button here is in the gold tone. So definitely could wear it with any kind of jewelry that I would have that I'm wearing for the day. I like to mix my metals anyway. And um, it looks like that one. I need to take this bracelet off, don't I? That was my Tory Burch one, but that is what it looks like on. And I kind of hemmed hawed about it because I thought, well, you know, I can get a Michael Kors one that is this look. But I thought, you know, I'm not going to be happy with that. So just get the Louis Vuitton one that you want and, you know, just get it and be done with it. You've saved some money. You've sold some purses. Get, get what you want. So I got that. And I'm very much pleased with that purchase also so had a wonderful experience in there like i said every time i've gone in there they've been so nice to me and have just treated me like you know i'm there to spend millions of dollars when i don't <laughs> but they treat you that way and some of those other ones you know 
a treat you like, you're, you don't have enough money to go in there and shop. Now I can get this off. Hmm. Uh-oh. This may be an issue if I can't get it on and off easy. Anyway. Oh, there it went. I just went pushed hard enough. So there's that bracelet. And that's what it looks like. It's not a, a rounded. It's more of an oval so that it will fit onto the wrist and then it's stationary. It's not going to flop around. So anyway, so that is what I purchased at the Louis Vuitton. This is my finale of my Las Vegas haul. I had a wonderful time, enjoyed it. Um, my husband and I, like I said, we're celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. We got to see the fireworks. Um, we got really lucky with the fireworks that our hotel was doing. They shot them off at the um, tennis courts which was on the fifth floor. We were on the 12th floor and we were like looking right over where they shot off those um, fireworks. So we got to stay in our room where it was nice and cool. We didn't have to fight the crowd. We didn't have to worry about parking. We were just right there watching the fireworks and it was just wonderful. And then there was another night um, cause they did theirs before um, 4th of July. And then 4th of July night at our hotel, we just went up on the parking garage, the very top level and part. And we, I mean, all around us was fireworks just going everywhere. It was really nice. And again, because we were right there at our hotel, we didn't have to worry about trying to find a place to park. We were already parked. We were right there at our hotel. It was, it was perfect, perfect, perfect. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.